Katie, I cannot believe we are finally here. We have already experienced so much and grown so close as a couple, but today we officially become one under God. I have known since the moment that I met you that we were meant to be together. Your love of life, your passion for work and friends, and your constant desire to do good by others inspires me to be the best man that I can be. Oh, I'm losing my place already. I promise to you that I will do the same for you day in, day out, no matter what. I will always work my hardest for you, for our families, and for our future children. There's so much that I want to say to you right now, but everything would lead to the same point, which is that I love you unconditionally. I've never been more excited than I am right now for this day, for our lives together moving forward, for the, all, all the obstacles, adventures, and challenges that we get to experience together. <laughs> I'm excited to see those beaming blue eyes and your contagious smile for the rest of my life. I cannot imagine being any more blessed than I am in this moment. I love you, Katie Stengel. Good luck making it through yours. Okay. <laughs> All right. Whew. I'm glad I wrote that down. <laughs> Joe, I can't believe today is the day. The day we enter into this beautiful promise together. To put into words the amount of love I have for you is almost impossible. Because words aren't enough to describe the loving, caring, and selfless man you are. The way you love is so beautiful and honest, and I can't believe that I get to share in that love. To be a wife is something that I prayed to God for, and what a blessing and honor it is that I get to be your wife. This journey of ours has already been a fairy tale, and I can't wait to go through all stages of life with you. Through the good and the bad, I vow to love you deeply and tenderly. I promise to always respect you as you lead our family. I promise to encourage and support your aspirations and dreams. And no matter where they take us, I will always be by your side with my hand in your hand. I promise to be faithful and true and hold our marriage so near and dear to my heart and will always see it as the most sacred thing of my life. Joe Stengel, I love you so incredibly much. And every time I look at you, I know that I am home. You have changed me for the better and I can't wait to run down that aisle and say I do in front of God, friends, and family to the man of my dreams. You're my best friend, confident, the love of my life, and my forever. And I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> We're about to get married. Whew. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where to? Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for waiting. <laughs>
beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. Marriage signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church, and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, and when it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture and the knowledge and the love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into lightly or unadvisedly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Catherine Sims Carroll and Joseph Herbert Stengel now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not lawfully be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. I require and charge you both here in the presence of God, if either of you know any reason why you may not be united in marriage lawfully in accordance with God's word, you do now confess it. <laughs> Catherine, would you have Joseph to be your husband to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Joseph, will you have Catherine to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Will all of you witnessing these promises this afternoon do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? We will. <clears throat> Who will give Catherine to Joseph in holy matrimony? Her mother and I will. Take your daughter's hand, <clears throat> put it in your soon to be son in law's hand. Come together. <laughs> A little house cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. <clears throat> o gracious and ever living God, you have created us male and female in your image. Look mercifully upon Catherine and Joseph, who come to you seeking your blessing, and assist them with your grace, that with true fidelity and steadfast love they may honor and keep the promises and vows they make this afternoon. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The congregation may be seated. We are ready for the scriptures. <clears throat> Lie together, they keep warm. 
But how can one keep warm alone? And though one might prevail against another, two will withstand one. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the Holy Gospel. <clears throat> the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do and in fact will do greater works than these because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, <clears throat> you may be seated. <clears throat> Katie and Joe, you look marvelous. <laughs> I'm going to ask the photographer to come out and take a picture so that uh, a year from now, you will remember how much you loved each other on this day. <laughs> and uh, five years from now, you will uh, look at this picture and remember how you loved each other today. 
10 years from now, you will look at this picture and remember how much you loved each other today. 25 years from now, on your silver anniversary, you will look at this picture and remember how much you loved each other today. 50 years from now, on your golden and well, at 50 years, you don't remember very much at all. <laughs> <laughs> we hold this love in a photograph. We make these memories for ourselves. <laughs> where our eyes are never closing, our hearts are never broken, time's forever frozen still. Kim and Larry Carroll, you did a fine job raising your daughter. And uh, Brian and Jeff, Jennifer Stengel, you did a fine job as well. Both sets of parents over 30 years of marriage have set an excellent example for their daughter and son. And uh, you are to be congratulated. <clears throat> so how did God <clears throat> bring a young woman from Panama City and a young man from Baltimore, Maryland, how did God bring these two lives together? <clears throat> Well, I, I did a little research, and I discovered that the distance from Panama City to Baltimore, Maryland, is 1,013.7 miles. How did God bridge that gap? Florida State University, of course. <laughs> there was something about Joe I liked the moment I met him. <clears throat> But um, uh, Katie wasn't at FSU at the beginning. She was uh, an Auburn Tiger. <laughs> but, uh, but after her, ap after her sophomore year, Katie realized that all the good-looking guys were in Tallahassee. <laughs> so uh, Katie went to Tallahassee and um, enrolled at FSU for her junior and senior year. God was using Chief Osceola in the whole mix as well. We won't talk about the role that, that uh, Renegade played in all of that. <laughs> and then there was this guy named Lewis, who actually introduced them. <laughs> Did you, so they had to, <laughs> they had to include Lewis in the wedding party, of course. Quick shout out. <laughs> Did you have any idea, oh, Lewis? Not a clue. Not a clue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good. Well, uh, you were being used by God Almighty as, uh, as the matchmaker here. So uh, that's great. So um, Katie and Joe met. Their first date was at... Uh, an Italian restaurant in Tallahassee called Bella Bella. Now, Joe, an Italian restaurant on your first date, I, I have to congratulate you, um, yeah, because there are so many couples that I work with. Oh, we just went down the street for a pizza, you know, or we went for an ice cream. One couple uh, the, on their first date, the guy took his uh, future bride uh, for yogurt, but... Uh, Joe, Katie, you must have known from the get-go that, uh, that Joe was uh, special. Yeah. So Joe says, Joe says, after the first date, I knew. I knew that this relationship had potential. After the first date. Wow. It took Katie a little bit longer to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> took Katie a little bit longer and the, and the Lord God is saying look at I brought you 1013.7 miles you've got to do something here so Katie said after like uh, a month or six weeks she was on board <laughs> yeah. 
So Katie, you are um, presently attending Jacksonville University. So you have been an Auburn Tiger, you have been a Florida State Seminole, and now you are a Jacksonville University Gamecock. I wonder what your children are gonna look like. <laughs> They were, um, they, they became best friends, and I was really happy to learn this as I was working with them in, uh, in premarital counseling. <clears throat> they became best friends before they fell in love. And, and that is so important um, that there is a good friendship there um, before uh, you start making serious plans. They were uh, engaged on Easter weekend, and here they are getting married a week before Christmas. My prayer to you is that uh, your marriage is a celebration of the life of Jesus Christ within you. That is my prayer to you. <clears throat> a lot of people think that marriage is 50-50. A lot of people think that marriage is a give and take. That's not the way, that's not the way Jesus loves us. Jesus doesn't love us 50-50. Jesus doesn't love us halfway. Jesus' love for you does not depend on your love for Jesus. Jesus is all in. He's all in. Marriage is a reflection of the love that Jesus has for us. And so to say that marriage is 50-50, uh, that's a formula for disaster because that means that half of each of the couple is not committed to the relationship. Marriage has to be a hundred, a hundred. Marriage has to be there uh, as, as, the, as the wedding vows will soon state. Marriage has to be there, better or worse, richer or poor, sickness and in health. Marriage has to be there all the time. Marriage has to be there a hundred percent of the time. <clears throat> Love <clears throat> is an art. Love is an art. It's something that we have to learn how to do. Psychologists tell us that we grow up self-centered. And that we have to learn how to love each other. We have to learn how to give each other away. Nobody sits down in front of a blank canvas and paints a beautiful landscape for the first time. It takes practice. If love is an art, it takes practice. Practice. And nobody sits down in front of a keyboard the first time and plays a beautiful melody without taking years of lessons and practicing even during those times when you did not want to practice. John, how long have you been playing the keyboard and, and organ? About 48 years. 48 years. That's a lot of practice. I can attest. John is in here several times a week practicing. You took lessons? Uh, since I was five. And you practiced even when you did not want to practice? Especially. Especially. <laughs> See, that's what marriage is. Marriage is practice practice, practice, marriage is loving each other even during those times when you don't want to love each other. And our, and our instructor, our love instructor is Jesus Christ. Jesus teaches us how to love each other. <clears throat> My wife and I are empty nesters and so we were finishing up a late dinner one evening and um, my wife said, I'm so tired, I'm just going to go to bed. And I looked at the table filled with dirty dishes and the sink filled with dirty pots. 
And I almost said, oh, no, you're not. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit grabbed my tongue, <laughs> twisted it, <laughs> shoved it back in my mouth. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit said, if Jesus Christ can drag his cross to Calvary and be nailed on it, you can handle a few dirty dishes. And I did. Only because Jesus was there as well. That's so important in a good marriage. That Jesus is the center and there's nothing else in the center except him. Hmm. So let me ask you, um, by a show of hands, how many have been married five years or less? Wow, five years or less. Wow, how many have been married um, uh, six to 10 years? Six to 10 years in the back, a few, okay. Good, 11 to 15, 11 to 15 years, good. Uh, 16 to 20. Uh, how many have celebrated their silver anniversary at 25 years? How many have been married 25 to 30? Good, here we go. That's good. Uh, 31, to, 31 to 40. Who wants to go home and Wow, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Uh, keep going. 40, 41 to 45 years. Uh, 50, uh, 46 to 50. Over 50. Over 50. How many years? Yeah. Do you remember your big day? Of course. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> your wife reminds you of it every day. 60 years. How many years? 65. 65. Oh. Wow. Man. That, that's retirement age. <laughs> How many years, sir? 67. 67. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. What is your uh, what is your secret? <laughs> Give and take. What is your secret at six? She, she had a lot of patience. A lot of she had a lot of patience. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's your first name, ma'am? Joan. There's a Saint Joan in the kingdom already. Right. Yeah, there's about to be another one one day, huh? Right. What's your secret? We have no secret. You have no secrets between you. Love. Love. Okay, good. Good. Well, let's, uh, let's, this is their first day of, of 50, 60, 65, 67 years of marriage. First day. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy to hear that you remember I just, somehow I need to get <laughs> uh, Yeah, let's do what we came here to do. A little bit more in the center. Good. Face each other. Here we go. <clears throat> Catherine. Catherine, will you have, oh, we're past that part. <laughs> Oh, we're on the vows here. <clears throat> here we go. Joe, you go first. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Joseph, take... Look at her, not me. <laughs> Don't laugh. Serious. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Joseph, take you, Catherine. I, Joseph, take you, Catherine. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Catherine, in the name of God. In the name of God. I, Catherine, take you, Joseph, to be my husband. 
I, Catherine, take you, Joseph, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. Richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. The rings. <clears throat> <clears throat> I have to oh. bless them. It's <laughs> ready. <laughs> bless, O oh Lord, these rings to be a sign of the vows by which Joseph and Catherine have bound themselves together through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Joseph, I give you this ring. Joseph, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Catherine, I give you this ring. Catherine, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> now that Catherine and Joseph have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of a ring, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. They are now legally and civilly married. Now we're going to bless the marriage and make it a sacrament. So let us pray together using the words our Savior Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I will ask you to respond, amen, to the following prayers. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, look with favor upon the world you have made and for which your son gave his life and especially upon Joseph and Catherine, whom you make one flesh in holy matrimony. Amen. Amen. Give them wisdom and devotion in the ordering of their common life, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Amen. Grant that their wills may be so knit together in your will and their spirits in your spirit, that they may grow in love and peace with you and one another all the days of their life. Amen. Give them grace when they hurt each other to recognize and acknowledge their fault and to seek each other's forgiveness and your forgiveness as well. Amen. Make their life together a sign of Christ's love to this sinful and broken world that unity may overcome estrangement, forgiveness, heal guilt, and joy conquer despair. Amen. Bestow on them, if it is your will, the gift and heritage of children and the grace to bring them up to know you, to love you, and to serve you. Amen. Give them such fulfillment in their mutual affection for each other that they may reach out in love and concern for others. Amen. Grant that all married persons who have witnessed these vows may find their lives strengthened and their loyalties confirmed. Amen. Grant that the bonds of our common humanity by which all your children are united one to another and the living to the dead may be so transformed by your grace that your will may be done on earth as it is in heaven where, O oh Father, with your Son and Holy Spirit, you live and reign in perfect unity now and forever. Amen. You would follow me. Matthew, you're coming up. <clears throat> Yeah. 
much going on. That's it. Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in sending Jesus Christ to come among us, to be born of a human mother, and to make the way of the cross to be the way of life. We thank you also for consecrating the union of man and woman in his name. By the power of your Holy Spirit, pour out the abundance of your blessing upon this man and this woman. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their foreheads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their life and in their death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to that table where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Give me your ring hands. There we go. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve and keep you. The Lord mercifully with his favor look upon you and fill you with all spiritual blessings and grace that you may faithfully live together in this life and in the age to come, have life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Katie, you are blessed, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Joseph, you are blessed, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And as a couple, you are blessed, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May the Father who created you, the Son who redeemed you, and the Spirit who sanctifies you, be with you. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you this day and remain with you forever. Amen. Mm -hmm. Stand up. Face the congregation, I would like to introduce to you the newly married Mr. and Mrs. Catherine and Joseph Stengel. Make sure.
first dance as husband and wife. Stay 
would it be a sin if I
let me hear y'all say it. Bounce, 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 hey. Bounce, bounce, hey. Now it's like burn us, you roll. Once I get you, I can close. Time to see it's on the go. See if I can hit the screen remote. Girl, you feel what I'm feeling. No more hope and wishing. I'm about to take my key and stick it in your ignition. So give me that. To my throne, I said I'm 24. But they said I'm great. This story be too delicious. I didn't press out the kitchen. Mama rolling out the kitchen. Girl, let's put some miles on it. Anything you want. Just to put a smile on it. You deserve it, baby. You deserve it. Oh.
Z is next. All right, guys. And now my man Joe has a job to do. Oh, that's my man Joe right there.